Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. Um, for those of you, there was a few of you that have been at, um, having withdrawal from layouts. Um, I got a whole stack of pictures in the mail today for someone that I do the scrapbooking. Um, and she sends me the pictures of her children and... Um, well, anyway, I got a whole package in today, so I'm going to be doing quite a bit now trying to catch up on hers. Um, this is actually uh, for the baptism. And let me kind of take all this apart and show you. Um, first of all, this is the little girl's name. And this was the date of the baptism. She sent me the paper, the wrapping paper that she used to wrap the keepsake, which was um, the Runaway Bunny book for the guests. So what I did is I folded this back and forth. First of all, what I did is I took a picture of the paper. And because I didn't have a big enough sheet to use for my layouts, I took a picture of this and I loaded, um, loaded it, downloaded it, and then I um, made my own paper out of her wrapping paper. Um, along the bottom here, what I did on my cameo is I used my ink dropper and picked up the colors of the flower. It didn't print out. This is a little bit more coral or it's supposed to be pink but it is more coral so I went ahead and went with it because um, I am going to use this piece of paper on part of my layout and what I did here is I just made a long rectangle 12 inches long and colored it using my eyedropper picking up colors out of these cherry blossoms then I took and um, wrote the date out and outlined it. Thank you to, can't remember her name, that, that showed me the technique for outlining your letter so you can get the colors because these were on their, on her um, picture that was inside the book, which is I'm printing out right now. Her picture was inside the book and it was outlined in the brown and the pink. This just print out because I'm going to be doing another layout that's going to be with the book, the, run the Runaway. She sent me the book, but I can't scrapbook the book. It, it's too thick. Um, I put the date down here. This was another strip that was an inch wide. Then I put a border around it of the brown. And for these cherry blossoms around here, what I did is I just took this section right here and um, cut them out um, using the the cropping well oh, what is it called again i better look at it somebody taught me that technique and now i can't remember what it's called um the trace and detach i did a trace and detach of these flowers and then i just laid them around here on top of this border this is just one printed sheet of paper and on the other page I did a, a wider border, they aren't identical, I did the, the strip here and then I put her name. Um, everything was is in Greek. So this has a little bit of a white outline around it, but I really like that because then instead of me layering uh, another piece of cardstock behind it, I already have the white outline border all the way around these pages. This is what I'm going to be using. This was the little favor bag. Um, that was a little baptismal gown. This is of her baptism. And I'm not sure how I'm going to lay it out, but I wanted to show you how I, I actually designed the paper that I'm going to use. And this is the program. And again, it's all in Greek. What I'm going to do, see it's more pink, but that wasn't the wrapping from the book. So I'm going to leave this inside here so you can't really see the pink. I don't want to tape all of this down because um, later on if she wants to remove it, but I'm not going to put it all the way down inside here either because I don't want to cover her the picture of her. I'm going to put that. Um, I think I want that over here because I have this wider 
band down at the bottom. It's going to be kind of in the center. And the theme, I think, not the theme, but kind of the motif with the cake and the, the, um, um, all the decorations, everything were with these bunnies. I think it was resolved or, um, was built around the Runaway Bunny book. Um, let me show you what I... This is what the book that was wrapped in this paper that was given to all the guests as a keepsake. And her picture was in the cover of the book. But, um, well, have, yeah, I can't scrapbook that. So what I did is I took a picture of it. Now, I didn't take a picture of this. I got this off the internet. I did the cover. I did the inside of it, and I'm going to lay that out. And then I just took a few random pictures. Um, this I just built a strip, took one of the pictures, and and I haven't cut this page out yet. This this is going to be all cut out. This I just printed, but I'm going to cut it by hand because I needed this one piece to be the width of my paper. And if I put registration marks on it, it would have been right in the middle of that picture. So I'm going to do that one by hand. Okay. I'm not getting anywhere, am I? Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to use this dress. I'm not sure how I'm going to lay this out yet. You're going to watch this as it happens because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't decide yet where I want to put this. I think I'm going to move this over and I'm going to put the paper over here. That's it. This is the actual wrapping paper. Again, I thought whoop, I thought it was pink. But it looks, it's, it's way more coral. And I also, when I folded it, the accordion style like that, I left the name um, showing. It's by Snow and Graham, Chicago, 1603. I don't know if that was relevant, but you know what? I didn't want to cover it up. So I left that showing. I thought that looked kind of cool. And then I'm going to take this one and adhere it down over here. And I'm just going to slide this in here and I'm going to put one strip of tape on the back just so it doesn't shift around. But that's it. I don't want that so that she can take it out later and read it if she wants. And then on this side, when these go inside the pages and the page protectors, this will flatten that out. And then over on this page, I am, I think what I'm going to do with this one, because this one's got a little bit too much pink and it doesn't, I don't want that much pink showing because my paper isn't really pink. So I'm going to slide that in. Boy, it looks like it's written upside down. I don't read Greek, apparently. <laughs> There's a shock. Um... I'm going to put a little tiny bit of tape right here to keep this again um, it's not sticking this is a kind of a glimmer paper my tape isn't sticking I wonder if that gun is okay I'm going to bring this up that was another photo of her and I want you're there you'd be able to read the whole thing not me because I can't understand a word of it I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to put this right here and this is not sticking there we go that I'm going to put right there. This also has some of the cherry blossoms here. They're, here they're a little bit more pink, but on here they look a little more coral. But you know, I, I think that's fine. This one, I think I'm going to have to put this down. I don't know if the tape will hold it. I think I'm probably going to have to... Well, let's try it. Let's see if I can tape it. Again, these are going to be in... That's not working. These are going to be in um, page protectors, so um, it's not like they're going to move around a lot, but the tape isn't sticking. 
I tell you what, when I get the stuff from her to work on her scrapbook, um, it's just absolutely the most amazing. Her parties, oh, they're unbelievable. I did the kids, um, her kids, her little boy. She's got a set of identical twin boys. Um, I did their one year birthday party and it was uh, Disney, um, Mickey or whatever. And I swear, uh, I thought that they were in Disney World. They, the, the decorations and everything, the cakes, it was unbelievable. Actually, when I saw a picture of her house, I thought that was a hotel. Eh, wasn't me. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. There I have the little um, baptismal gown. I don't know if I said that at the beginning or not. This was for a baptism. I'm going to be doing her first birthday as well. Um, she also had, see I just put these down. I don't think I need both of them. Um, and then she had, this must have been her table um, place cards. And then the napkins with her name and the date of the baptism. I'll do another layout on these that'll be more pink. And this was the table where they had the name of the person on it. And this is, I think this was the program. I'm not real sure. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, I already did the boys baptism too. I'm not real sure how I'm going to do that, but I will figure it out and I will scrapbook that because that will be a, a challenge. And she had stamps, photo stamps made. And I think I'm going to wait and show though or do those on one of the other pages as well. I think I'm going to keep these really simple because I, I don't want to cover up the paper and this is Again, her name and the date, and I think I'm going to call that one quits. And the next one I'm going to do will be the Runaway Bunny page. So let me give you a close-up on these. The layout. There we go, and I'll take some pictures, and then stay tuned for the next. Thank you.